what lessons did you learn about deploying AI responsibly in a diverse population compared to a more homogenous trial cohorts? So I think we're still learning, right? So the, the study, like I told you, is a retrospective study. So we haven't actually, it's not patient forward yet, right? That's to come. And so I think some of the work that we're going to be doing is understanding from a community standpoint and also from a patient perspective, their views on this AI tool. tool. How, what, do, what, does, what do our patients actually think of it? And we're going to be doing a, a large survey, actually, prospectively, to kind of understand, you know, if we, you know, use this tool, what do you understand? You know, is there what kind of education uh, needs to be thought about when we're think thinking about integrating AI? And then also, how are patients actually interpreting what we say, what we're saying about the tool in itself? So we're going to get some of that data. That's up and coming mm -hmm. um, work that that we plan to do here. And you mentioned NLST already a little bit, but I'm wondering um, how Sybil compares with existing validated risk models like PLCO, M2012, and NLST. So it's a little like, so when we talk about comparing to risk models, we have to understand that Sybil is a little different than P PLCO and, and those models, right? Sybil is basically, you're looking at a low-dose CT scan, right? in a patient that doesn't have lung cancer yet, right? To see what their overall risk is in, you know, six years, right? The PLCO is set up a little bit differently, you know? It's, um, and and these other models are set up differently. Some look at, you know, uh, pulmonary nodules, you know, and, and some look at, you know, your high risk, for example, uh, based on your smoking and whatnot. So these models, we have to be very careful um, when we're using the model to kind of interpret these risk models, if that makes makes sense. Not all of these models can be compared, you know, to, together, right? You know, PLCO was primarily, I think, lung nodules, basically. You had to have a lung nodule. Sybil, you don't have to have a lung nodule. You'll get a, a, a score no matter what, even if there's not a nodule there. And so, you know, that makes it a little hard to interpret exactly what these models mean. You know, I think, you know, the goal is to utilize Sybil and create a model that's going to be not necessarily a one size fit all sort of model, but one that can be kind of tailored potentially for each patient that we're seeing. And Sybil can maybe be the backbone of this. That's how we, how I'm thinking about it here at, at UIC. 